Good morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. There is a little bit of background noise, I have to warn you. Um, there's work being done in my house and it's right outside my window. So hopefully it won't be too annoying. <laughs> it is to me, but hopefully it won't. you won't hear too much of it in the video. But today I'm going to be planning in my Happy Planner, planning in my Happy Planner Classic Skinny. And um, we're, I'm going to break into the video before we get to the planning part because I'm also showing you how to make these stickers. So we're going to use these stickers and some washi and let's see what, let me see what it looks like. We are, where are we? In October. So we did this one. This one is next week. Am I doing this one? I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do. I'll do this one. So yeah, we're gonna, we have this mauve color, which is the only bad thing, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna cover down the center and we're gonna cover this up. So now I'll just bring you into the sticker part, which I had to do a voiceover um, and then I'll bring you back to decorating. Okay, so then we're gonna go into design space, into images. And we're going to click on free in the filter section and then go up into top and type in pumpkin and see what's free. Now I really like this um, blue pumpkin because I'm looking for something simple that we can fill in with a pattern. So I'm going to choose that blue pumpkin and bring it into design space and um, it comes with a background piece and this blue piece. And we're not gonna use that background piece, so just let's set that aside. We'll end up deleting it later, I believe. So if you, okay, I want several pumpkins. So I just hit delete a few times because we're going to use all of these as stickers and we're going to use the pattern feature and change them from this solid blue color. and change some sizes on them too, because I don't want them all the same. I want to, my idea is to put them down the spine of the Skinny Classic, so I need some big ones, and then I need smaller ones to fill in. And then even smaller ones. So we're just gonna make several of these shapes, pumpkin shapes in different sizes, and then we will fill them in either with different colors or patterns. So if you go up on top and change basic cut to print and cut, then on that little square next to it, you can change from color to pattern. And then there's several patterns that are already in Cricut. I happen to have uploaded my own pattern, so that's what I'm going to use today. So I'm just going to grab this leaf pattern. And it's beautiful, but it's very tiny. So I want those leaves to be bigger. So if you go into edit pattern, another screen comes up and you can see what it looks like in there. And then we're going to just make that bigger until what I like. So right about there. And then this one, again, print and cut, change from color to pattern, pick your pattern. I'm going to pick these green leaves. Oh, no, I decided not to. I picked the green plaid instead. And again, I want that bigger. So I'm going to change it to where I like it, right about there. And then the next one, same print and cut, change color to pattern, pick my pattern. And I have some flowers, which you can barely see. So again, edit pattern. And we're going to go all the way up, I believe, on this one too. Oh, not quite, right there, sorry. <laughs> now since this one, they're, you know, they have the white background, they don't show up that well, so we're gonna add a little bit of an offset to that. And then again, I'm gonna change it back to that orange kind of color, trying to match the, the flowers in the print there. All right, so then we're selecting both the back and the front, and making sure it's centered in there, and then uh, we're gonna select them and hit flatten. On each one of those and then we're gonna go down and change the smaller pumpkins 
um, just to solid colors. And here, see, I chose that green color, but I end up in the in the free printable. It's a better better looking matching green that you will get, not this bright green. And then on these, I decided also to do a pattern, but nothing a little bit more of a muted pattern. Now I do have a video that shows, that explains all this more into detail, how to make these stickers. So if you wanna go back and recap those if, if this is going too fast and too confusing for you. Now this one, I just picked this like coral colored polka dot pattern. I'm just gonna duplicate it after I put the offset on that one. Just a little bit of an outline. I think it just makes it pop a little better. Totally not necessary, but it's just how I decided I liked it this time. So now I have my pumpkins. I'm gonna make a couple more. So again, this is back from my earlier tutorial. If you take a square and you move it to the 6.75 by 9.25, that's the size the Cricut paper. I should say that the Cricut will allow you to print out on sticker paper. So I'm doing this to judge the size of these pumpkins to see how many I can fit on one sheet because that's my goal is I'm just printing out one sheet. So you have to make your square rectangle and then send it, make sure you send that to the back so you can put the stickers on top and see how big that actually is. So that would have been a humongous pumpkin sticker if I would have left it that size. So we are making these all smaller. <laughs> so now this is showing you how all of these pumpkins will fit on one printable sticker area. Okay, now this is showing you those green pumpkins. The other green I'm talking about that I changed it to instead of that bright green. But now we're going to make some boxes to go with these. So again, I'm starting out with this 6.75 by 9.25 template for how big our stickers are going to be. I just turned it to gray to make it a little easier. And remember, you have to send that to the back. Picture of what you're getting at the end. But anyway, we're going to make some square boxes right now, so I'm just figuring out a size I want. And I'm going to make them green and brown and orange. Or green and orange and brown, I should say. <laughs> so I decide on the size. And then we need to have the white inside for writing, so I just make another square. Shrink it up to fit it in there. Now, all of this, again, has already been a tutorial that I've made, just with different size boxes. So if you want more details, go back and look at some previous videos. So we're just going to keep doing this. And then make sure there the white is centered in the color. And then we'll flatten those down so they are one piece and do not move. And then I decide that I'm going to make some little icons. So I was going to just make them little tiny pumpkins, but I didn't think that cut out too well. So I decided to make a white circle and then put the little pumpkin on, on that white circle. So we grab a circle in shapes. And I'm making this pretty small changing the color, zooming in, I'm going to drag that pumpkin on top, got to bring that to the front, make it smaller, take them and select both and then center that in there and it turned out really cute. So I'm going to make several of these in the green and then I will switch the colors. Okay, so I got them in the green and the orange and the brown all lined up there in the line. And then I decided to add another set of box stickers. Just trying to make the best fit for, for everything to be able to get as much on this page as I can. So let's go in and get some more shapes. How about some circles? Okay, so I've got the shapes that I wanted to make, and so now let's add some text. Okay, and then we need to make the offset on the to-do. 
and again I go over this in a previous video but you make the offset now the offset doesn't always fill that in so you have to take some extra shapes and kind of uh, <laughs> fill it in yourself so I just take a shape I get it to cover the white then I select all of it and hit weld and then it makes it all full change it to white and then we take both of them flatten them make them smaller and make sure that they fit nicely in the boxes and they do so we're gonna make enough to fit in all one two three four five six of the boxes get them over on the page okay they're all on the page so let's do a couple other words let's do priority so we go through the same procedure right now it's in black we're going to change it to print and cut and then we're going to change it to a different color this time i picked the orange and then we have to offset that And again, it's not completely filled in, so we're gonna use our shapes and fill that in a little better. One circle there. Gotta get that smaller so it just fits right inside there. And then duplicate it so we can cover up that other little bitty hole there. There we go. Then we select it again and we flatten, and then we shrink it to what size we want it. Let's see how it fits in the boxes, fits nice. We're just gonna do a couple of those. Okay, so now let's use those stickers we made and decorate with them. First off, I'm gonna cover this up and luckily I have some extra sticker paper down here on the bottom. Now, um, the sticker paper that I used is split in half, so yours wouldn't be like this, but I'm just using what I did. And also it cut mine wrong because my mat's not very sticky anymore. So it slid all over the place. So you can't tell this, but you will as soon as I start pulling these up. These pumpkins are in pieces. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like stick them back together. <laughs> some of this and then we can just kind of tear some of this it's stuck on my finger Put this down here right there and then I gotta get that off my finger and then another piece up here Cover that little stake a little there all right what's more somewhere I don't think this would fit up here, would it? Nope. Um, where else could we put some? Maybe just like here into, I don't know if it can go behind this pumpkin or not. Oh, I missed a little corner there. I don't know what happened to that guy. Like that, see? You make them a little boo-boo, then you just uh, fix it. <laughs> I think I want to put something up there. What do we have left? For all the trouble I had with my Cricut, I think it looks really good. So let's stick this back on here. Some of, these punched. <laughs> Some of the stickers are in the way. 
how cute that is. And to think we made it ourselves. So again, these stickers were made by us on our Cricut. Just trying to give you a little creative inspiration and um, to make it, make it your own. So until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.